A new ambulance station in Edwardstown. But the state's ambulance union say its workers remain under extreme pressure. We were getting a lot of complaints from members that they were working a full 12 hour shift without a break. Uh, and ramped with patients and forced into post-shift overtime. A report prepared last month for Safe Work SA highlighting the ongoing impact of ramping on patients and staff. It stated members that are ramped feel helpless and hear life-threatening emergencies in the community over the radio that have limited to no resources available to attend. It also stated members are increasingly witness to direct, secondary and vicarious trauma in the performance of their duties, presenting real psychological risks. Anything like that's being taken seriously, but it's also why we're making these huge investments in the system. SA Ambulance boss Rob Elliott acknowledging the union's report highlighted issues with overtime and changes had been made. It identified that while we have a range of activities to help people to knock off, we had not formally documented those procedures. While the union acknowledged the improvements in terms of work breaks, further changes are still needed. So that our members are safe as well whilst they're at work. Another measure aimed at helping ambulance workers will come online next week, with 26 new beds for older patients to open at the Repat Hospital. Eva Blandis, ABC News.